I have two of the number 15, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my dad bought my first lottery ticket when I was 21, so about two or three months ago. And uh, I've been playing the lottery, um, see, since Moses was a child. <laughs> I don't know what happens to my money after I bought my ticket, though. Well, of course, I never expected to be diagnosed. I was 41, and it was the usual story. I found a lump. They, they did the tests and it was breast cancer and I couldn't believe it. I was only 41, it must have been wrong, but it was right. One of the worst times was telling my son. Um, he was eight when I was diagnosed and the first thing he said was, mommy, will your hair fall out? And the tears were springing out of his eyes. They were actually coming out straight and I could, all I could do was hug him. And it was one of those moments, it was like in a movie couldn't believe it and it changed my life um, but it didn't end my life um, in fact my life has taken a new route now one of my friends in hospital uh, told me about the lagging dragons she said there's this bunch of girls that want to go kayaking or something she said I know you're into boats maybe you'd want to go along so uh, I went along it was the second meeting I went to and Joanne Rock was there our captain and she talked about this dream that she had about creating this club called the Lag and Dragons and about helping women who have been through breast cancer um, and men are also welcome to come as well. Um, so from that day forward we meet every Saturday and go out on the Lagan in the Dragon Boats and the club has grown and grown and grown. More people have come to us from the hospitals from word of mouth and they can't believe it, the, the fun that they have and they know they're not on their own because so many women feel they're the only one that this is happening to. And whenever you're with a bunch of ladies like that, the emphasis is taken off the cancer and it's, it's put on having fun and getting out there and being on the water and you get to see the city from a whole new perspective. And it's just a laugh the whole way up and down the river. It's just fantastic and I love it to bits and I love all the girls that come along as well. It's a, it's a great, great place to be. We really, really depend on this money and without it, this, they would, the Lag and Dragons would disappear and there would be nothing for anybody coming out of breast cancer treatment and it's, it's crucial that there is something there for people. And to have this to fall into and there's so much love and joy within it, it's, it's fantastic. I don't know what we would have done without it. I had no idea that um, the money was spent on projects like this. I'm glad I've helped towards it, really. I want to have a go on that boat. <laughs> it's really nice to know that what you're buying a ticket, it goes towards something. Good causes and also a chance of winning a few pounds, you know.